Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to uh, follow up on uh, Dr. Ronnie Jackson. Yesterday, the President uh, suggested that Dr. Jackson does not have the experience to run the Department of Veterans Affairs. Is that a fair assessment? That he uh, lacks that experience? I, that's not what the President said. I think you're taking some of his words uh, out well, of context. And based on your speech today, I know issue. you don't appreciate when people take your words out of context. So um, I'd appreciate if you not do that to the President. Uh, if he didn't think he had the experience, he wouldn't have nominated. He said that that had been one of the questions that people had posed about him. Obviously, so the President Dr. thought... Jackson has all the experience necessary to run the department. Look, I think he has an incredibly... Uh, yes no strong question. background. He's a highly qualified, highly skilled individual. And if he didn't think he was capable of doing the job, he wouldn't have uh, announced his nomination in the Let first place. Up yeah. I can. I, just a few months, just since you brought up uh, being taken out of context, it seems to, to be a press related question. Are you trying to say that this administration is a champion of a free press? That, that uh, seems I certainly think that, uh, as I stated a moment ago, we support a free press, but we also support a fair press. Uh, and I think that those things uh, should go hand in hand. And there's a certain responsibility by the press to report accurate information. I think a number of people. Responsibility on the part finished. of the president. I think a number of people in this room do that every single day. They do their very best to provide fair and accurate information. Certainly support that. And that's one of the reasons I'm standing here taking your questions. Um, and, and a lot that. of times taking your questions in a tone that's completely unnecessary necessary, unneeded, and frankly doesn't help further the conversation or help the American people get any more information in a better way, which is your job and my job, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm going to move on. Sarah, David, but the, go president, ahead. the President's, tone, Jim, towards the press. Thank the president's you, tone towards the press obviously is not helpful at times, you, and I Jim. think that that's plain to see. A Navy, David, a Navy Inspector General had problems with the way Jackson ran his medical office, which only has 50 people in it. But what makes him qualified to run a big department that has 350,000 people? Look, I, I saw um, a number of members of uh, both the House and Senate do uh, interviews today, uh, just earlier this morning, in which they said, look, we've tried this a number of other ways with people who have run massive organizations and it hasn't worked out very well. Um, this is a different approach, but it certainly doesn't mean it's a wrong approach or that he's not qualified. This is somebody who's been uh, on the battlefields, made in decisions at a very high stress level and saved a number of individuals lives in some of the most trying circumstances. Somebody that understands the relationship between veterans and the needs and the care that they have as a veteran himself or as a service member himself and somebody who has a relationship and a deep-rooted care and concern for those individuals that may be far and above what we've seen uh, from previous administrators that have overseen that agency. He's a highly qualified individual and we're going to continue looking at this and continue moving forward. Julie. Sarah, can you 